When only come one time in my life If you no see that I better your tattoo your yai Me ratings for all of my friend them so I So I, I, so I and your blacks Good friend only come one time in your life If you no see that I better your tattoo your yai Me ratings for all of my friend them so I So I, I, so I, I Me dad, me boss for life The bread that I'm Me yeah. not so friend, me so family Me not so friend, me so family me not so friend, me so family. 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 Family. Me not so friend, me so family. I need so that family. Chuck. If I want to be here, I pray to love. You don't believe me, I pray to love. Ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted to welcome you to the National Stadium this evening to welcome the Reggae Girls versus Panama that will be starting in a matter of minutes. Put your hands together for the two teams. Some of you may remember that it was Panama that the Reggae Girls beat to make it to the World Cup, so it could very well be Although a friendly international, a kind of grudge match this evening. And the teams are about to enter the field of play. Of course, this will be the last time that the reggae girls will be appearing on home soil before that historic start to their World Cup dreams when they play in France a few weeks from now. So this is their last chance at seeing the female footballers who have done Jamaica so proud. Are waiting in the tunnel, both teams, to enter in a few seconds.
Let's run through the starting lineups quickly for you. For the Panama team, their goalkeeper is Yanis Bale. Number two, Hilary Jane. Number three, defender Mario Murillo. Number four, Catherine Castillo. Number five, Yamira Pinson. Number six, Aldred Pintero. Their number eight is Lori Batista. Number nine, Carla Riley. Their number 10 is Marta Cox, and number 11 is Natalia Mills. And for the reggae girls, goalkeeper, Sydney Schneider, number one. Number five is Connie Plummer, the captain. Number nine, Marlo Sweatman. Number 11, Khadija Banisha, ladies and gentlemen. Number 14 is Denisha Blackwood. Number 16, Dominique Bonflaza. And Dominique was the one who scored that winning penalty against Panama, if you may remember. Number 17, Alison Swing. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Kingston's Number National Swing Stadium. Kata. It's the venue for this big, friendly Number football Swing match between France-bound Jamaica and Panama. My name is Ian Andrews, and along with Lance Whiter, analyst today, we'll be keeping your company as we look at Jamaica's final game before they journey off to France. Historic birth in the World Cup, which starts on June 7 in France. Jamaica, of course, defeated Panama, by the way, in their final match to qualify for that competition. And guess what? The teams are here playing in this friendly match, which possibly could very well be a grudge match before that big historic meeting in France. Of yeah. course, the reggae girls are coached by Hugh Menzies, and the Panamanians, they're coached by Victor Suarez. Now we have Lance White here, who has been following the reggae girls from time immemorial. Lance, welcome to our commentary. And your thoughts about this atmosphere, not as electrifying, of course, as it could have been, it, or certainly not it, when, when the, the boys were playing uh, 21 years ago. You look pretty young. I don't think you were there then. <laughs> but it's certainly not in the same league. But nonetheless, describe what you think this feeling is all about right now. Yes, Ian. I think, I think it's a really... Not as much as we'd have expected, but the fans are still trickling into the national stadium. Um, the fans are making a lot of noise, you know, getting the atmosphere pumping. And this has been um, dubbed as a grudge match, no doubt, because, as you could recall, the last time these two teams met, the Jamaicans created history by becoming the first Caribbean nation to qualify for the Women's World Cup. So, no doubt, Jamaica will want to reassert their class over this Panamanian team, while Panama will be in the hunt for revenge. Indeed. And of course, the officials meeting the reggae girls headed by the president of the Jamaica Football Federation, Mr. Michael Ricketts. So, cool conditions here. The match scheduled to start at 6 o'clock Jamaica time. And of course, that will be 7 o'clock in other parts of the Caribbean and of course, the United States. Whether we'll be tuned in to our broadcast. We're expecting an elect electrifying match today, or do you think that it will be one of caution? What, do you, what are you expecting? I think it will be a very hotly contested match because, as Coach Mendes, or Coach Menzies rather, said, um, the reason why they chose Panama is because they want to replicate that atmosphere um, in that third place playoff in Texas when both teams were going at it, you know, playing for a World Cup spot. Um, 
Coach Suarez of Panama said his team isn't viewing this as a grudge match, but obviously his players will have that in the back of their minds coming into this one and want to set the record straight. Of course, it would be hard for him to convince anybody that, that wouldn't be a it won't be a grudge match, but we'll see. Uh, the proof of that pudding is in eating. Of course, Jamaica and Panama, quite a very keen relationship, uh, both, in terms of, uh, in both in terms of football and in terms of possibly blood rel relatives because a number of Jamaicans went to help to build the Panama Canal many years ago. And while they were helping to build the canal, they just decided to stay. And uh, they became Panamanians. So a lot of Jamaican roots deeply planted in the Panama in Panama, not in the canal, but <laughs> in Panama, the country. So, we'll be looking at the teams in just a while. And yes, the Minister of Sports, the Honorable Olivia Babsy Grange, along with the opposition leader, Dr. Peter Phillips, and are also in the greeting party. And uh, we'll have the national anthems for both teams. We'll have the Panamanian national anthem, and then we'll have the Jamaican national anthem. So we'll pause for the Pan Panama anthem. Now the singing of the national anthem of Jamaica by Candy Isaacs. Isaacs to sing the national anthem of Jamaica. Interesting remix right there. And having some technical flaws there with the music. And uh, Lance, I hope. Eternal okay, she's ready. Father Keep us free from evil. 
does heavenly father grant true wisdom from above justice truth be Cheers go up for the national anthem delivered by the visually impaired Candy Isaacs. As yes, the teams meet each other. And she did very well to sing that a cappella after the technical difficulties. No problems there at all. <laughs> yes, it, it definitely can throw you off if you're expecting to hear the music play and it doesn't come off. But anyway. This is the final time that the local fans will get an opportunity to see the reggae girls in action before they make their debut in the World Cup of Football in France come next month. June 7, their first match will be June 9 versus the Mighty Brazilians. Right, Ian, and as you said, this is the farewell party for the Jamaicans. Um, they'll want to go off on a high note because... You know, they've been in good form since their qualification. They haven't lost a match, but Panama will be looking to spoil the party. Of course. Let's look at the starting lineup, starting, of course, with Panama, coached by Victor Suarez. They have Yenith Bailey, Hilary Hahim, Maria Maria, or Morillo, Catherine Castillo, Yamiro Pinson. Aldrich Quintero, Laura Batista, Carla Riley, Marta Cox, Natalia Mills, Yasli, and Tessio. That's the starting lineup for the Panamanians and for Jamaica. Sydney Schneider. In the middle is Marianella Cruz Ayara from Costa Rica. Kenya Plummer, the captain. Marlo Sweatman, number nine. Khadija Bonnie Shaw, Denise Blackwood, Dominic Bond Flasher, Alison Swaby, Trudy Carter, Olufusla Shade Adamalikun. They we just call her Shade. And Maria Gray and Laura Jackson, coached by Hugh Menzies, while Victor Suarez, the coach for Panama. Lance White is with me, and Lance, it's a cool evening here at the National Stadium, but we expect to see some hot action on the field. No doubt, Ian, and both teams um, going with some familiar formations, the Jamaicans um, favoring the 4-2-3-1 formation with Khadija Bonishaw spearheading the attack. I'll expect to see Myra Gray just tucked right in behind her with Adam Kuhn and Carter flanking the forward and we can see where Alison Swaby and Kanye Plummer is partnered at the back of the defense for the Jamaicans again both of them know each other very well they seem to be humans is preferred pairing in the center of the defense while the Panamanians look to have preferred a more traditional 4-4-2 formation with the young Yenith Bailey in goal of course the blaring red of Panama this is the gold, green, and black of Jamaica. Panama in possession. Of course, the stadium gets quiet as both teams now trying to gain the balance of power. Panama in control. Quintero. Oh, she gave it away. And Jamaica now trying to capitalize on it. And the defenders recover quickly for Panama through Castillo. And it's behind for the first corner of the game. Bright start there from the Jamaicans, putting a lot of pressure on the Panamanian defense early in this first half and winning the first corner of the game. Sweatman, she likes to take the corners for Jamaica. Jackson, Laura Jackson, right up there in the box. 
So two is gray, and it's swerving viciously, and a shot at the back post there. That was Alison Swaby Alison arriving Sweeney. late at the back post and got a boot to it going just wide. So, of course, Jamaica and Panama, certainly at the main level, have always had a very fierce rivalry. And it's no different in this gender, of course. Right, Ian, and you mentioned the shared history that both Panama and Jamaica have. Um, a lot of similarities between the teams and players are very familiar with each other. The similarities go into the FIFA World Ranking as well, because right now Jamaica are ranked 53rd in the world and Panama just three places below them at 56. So teams that share a lot of similarities. One difference, one is going to be at the World Cup and the other is not. <laughs> Definitely, Ian. And Demela Cruz Araya, the Costa Rican referee. Ball still. Yeah, of course, a little fancy footwork there by Trudy Carter. Wonderful reception from the crowd for Trudy Carter. And it's worth noting that Trudy Carter is making her long-awaited return from injury. She has been out for four months. Of course, a number of the other top players are not here today for Jamaica. As the coach, this one could be dangerous, but the goalkeeper is alert. Yemith Bailey and connects comfortably there for Panama. Well held by the young goalkeeper just now who just 18 months ago she was playing as a midfielder before her coach Suarez converted her into a goalkeeper. Confidence stuff by Jamaica as well as they try to come forward and put the Panamanians under pressure. This is Mills. Uh, cut out nicely there by good defender and captain Plummer. We can see where the Jamaicans are utilizing a very high line early in the first half, trying to press the Panamanians deep into their own half. They have to be wary of the counter-attack, though. That's good pressing again from Khadija Shaw. Khadija Shaw, she had a rare touch, but it was a good one. So of course, the Panamanians will be thinking, keeping a close eye on her. The ball, teams struggling to bring the ball under control and make a meaningful attack so far. Still, Panama, that's a through pass, much too far forward. And uh, goalkeeper Schneider gets her first touch. Yes, too much on that one for Riley to chase. Carter, Blackwood, Plummer, switching the play nicely. Swaby, searching pass there, but it's turned away. To touch, Jamaica will be happy with that throw. Castillo in the way. Jamaica versus Panama as the home team supporters seeing their team for the final time. What a pleasing moment it would be to see them off with a good victory here. The National Stadium. Well, Ian, it's been a bright start for the Jamaicans so far, you know. They have clearly come out with the intent of, you know, bringing the game to this Panamanian team. Putting the Panamanians under some pressure early on, forcing some errors. A lot of turnovers from Panama in their own half. Well, well, breaks out of Malay breaking Queen. inside now. This could be a chance. Oh, and it is ill directed, but surely Trudy a Carter could have done better with that one. A very good opportunity that was for Trudy Carter making a return from injury. She was all alone over on this near side and just miss kicked her shot, skewed it up into the air and into the grateful arms of goalkeeper Bailey. They had time to control it and uh, take aim, I would think, but. A little bit nervous. Right, possibly. you know, coming back from Stage injury. Right. After you spend so long on the sidelines, you know, it takes a while before you get back into that groove, but I'm sure we'll see her improve as the game progresses. So pretty quiet start here, though. In case you're just tuning in, welcome to football. 
in Jamaica, Kingston, Jamaica. That's a dangerous pass, but the goalkeeper is quickly off the line and she collects comfortably. So it's international football, Jamaica versus Panama. Here at Kingston's National Stadium, it's the final match as Jamaica prepare themselves for the World Cup in France. It's a mistake at the back there from Alison Swaby and Panama eventually win a free kick. Yes. So Panama inching forward confidently. Let's see who takes this big one now. Will it be Pinzon? Will it go directly towards the goal? Or she's going to try chipping, chipping it in? Might have a big crack at it. Lining up for one tremendous kick, but it's blocked. We may say it was charged down. It was really a the poor kick by her standards. On that occasion. Well, it was really a poor kick by her standards, really. We were certainly expecting a little better kick at this level. Jamaica trying to capitalize on the error now, but losing the ball there. And the kick goes in favor of Jamaica. She was offside on that occasion. There we see the... High line being utilized by the Jamaicans coming into good effect. Panamanians might try to exploit that with some speed, but that's a good play by Shaw. It's searching past there, but it didn't get to Gray in time, but it goes into touch for a throw to the Jamaicans. There's a sense of excitement every time Khadija Shaw gets on the ball. Excitement and anticipation. A very talented player, Khadija Shah, who recently graduated from the University of Tennessee with a Bachelor's of Science in uh, Communications. So doing great things both on and off the field. So communications is a science now. Imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> yes. Is the kick taken short? Oh, she turned, turned her player well there. But just a little bit too much power on that pass. But she's lucky to have gotten another corner. All right, the Jamaicans can keep the pressure on with another corner here. Um, see Marlo Sweatman going over to try and pick out one of the Jamaicans this time. Let's see if she goes for the drill cross again or floats it in this time. Jackson up go the heads again, punched away by the goalkeeper. He's having quite a busy evening so far. Bailey. Bailey just 18 years of age. Um, she was one of the standout play players in the CONCACAF Women's Championship, you know. She was preferred to by Coach Suarez to some of the more experienced custodians. And she didn't let down her coach as she produced some outstanding saves in Texas. Okay, so Panama in their own half again. Ball bouncing, falling about. It will come again. Panamanians, but again it's turned away and cut out by the Jamaicans. Plummer. That's some very good defensive nicely. work from the Jamaican captain, Panya Plummer, who sends Jamaica on their way now. Gray. She has the speed. A quick crunching tackle there. By Maria puts it into touch again for yet another corner. Brilliant Once. pace shown by Myra Gray down that right hand side just now to earn Jamaica another corner. Both her and Adam Alekun are pacey players so the Panamanian defense will have their hands full this afternoon. Let's see. The corners haven't really been as telling as they could as one would have liked them to be from a Jamaican perspective. Up go the heads. And this could be something here but a, again a last minute challenged by the Panamanian defense. The corners are really adding up for the Jamaicans now. They need to make these counts early on in this match. Panama under a lot of pressure at the moment. But the Jamaican girls have not been able to make them pay as yet. Sweatman will be trying to pick out the head of Khadija Bonishaw with this one. Sweatman again with a corner. Shaw! Falls to Swaby on the near post, but 
Like with her earlier opportunity, she kicks this one just wide. Again, these chances are coming. With Jamaica not being as penetrative as they could have been. Here now is Mills. There's a lot of space on, on that far side for the Jamaica. That's a strong tackle on Khadija Shaw, who stays down. Seems to have felt the full impact of that one. Yes, and again, nothing friendly about the situation here. <laughs> Not at all. This is a <laughs> grudge match, Ian. <laughs> yeah, she duly apologizes. And Shaw kept in check whether by whatever means necessary. And she certainly hasn't had an impact on this game as yet. Albeit for her presence. Khadija Shah just limping after that challenge. We'll have to keep an eye on that one to see if she can shake it off. Sweatman with a kick. Floated in the area. Had a possibility here. And again, goalkeeper Bailey will have no problems there collecting. Gray winning the header on that occasion, but couldn't really generate enough power on it to trouble Bailey in goal. So, it's about 15 minutes gone, or thereabouts, 20 minutes. It's Jamaica nil, Panama nil. And Ian, I think it's fair to say the Jamaicans have enjoyed the better of play earlier in this first half, you know, really asserting themselves on the Panamanians, forcing more errors, but Panama looking very dangerous on the counter-attack with Jamaica playing such a high line. Of course, they will have to keep a close check on that young lady, Mills. She lost out that time around, but here comes Panama again. And... Uh, Blackwood recovers. Sweatman. Is it short? That's a good play, but just a little bit too long. And still giving chase. And this could be dangerous now. Chance for Jamaica. Good goalkeeping by Young Bailey. Thwarts. Lance. Trudy Carter, who was certainly going goal bound. And Trudy Carter out of trench down almost snuck in to give Jamaica a lead just now, but. The goalkeeper, Yenneth Bailey, quick off her line to snuff out the danger. Panamanian defense wasn't clearing that one effectively. Trudy Carter showing that even not being as much sharp as she would like to be, she's still a danger. So good start here for Trudy Carter. Corner kick again over the other side this time around. It's swerving viciously and it's turned away by the defense, not the goalkeeper this time. Panama defending stoutly. This is Riley. Useful play, but... Had her pocket picked by the Jamaican defense. Sweatman all over the place for Jamaica right now. Trying to settle things down and take charge. Plummer just calming things down at the back for the Jamaicans after making a long busting run. Floated in the box again. Goalkeeper Yenneth Bailey is proving a tower of strength here in this Panamanian team. For someone so young, she is a very dominant figure on the pitch. That pass was ill-directed, and so it's turned out. Mills giving chase. Managed to keep it in. Plays it short and gets the play going. The pass intended there by Riley was ill-directed. It's still Panama in possession. This is Mills. Oh, she beats her player. Working in tandem there with Cox. Good football by Panama. Cox. Haheen. Good tackle. This is Bonnie Shaw. Oh, she beats her opponent. Has two more. Using her pace to good effect. She gets inside the area. Looking for the cross. Good defending. By Hain to Panama. Brilliant run from Khadija Bonishaw, showing her pace and strength and dribbling ability, all of her attributes in one run. That's why she's one of the most sought after players in the world right now, Ian. Indeed. Back again comes Jamaica. That one's deflected, turned away by Pinzon. Looking for Cox, but it's broken up by Sweatman. 
Had a lot of power and pace on it. But well positioned, Lance. Let's guess who? Bailey. Bailey seeing a lot of the ball early in this first half. Uh, that was a decent strike from Marlo Sweatman. Straight down the middle of the goal. Not too difficult for Bailey to deal with, but she's up to the task yet again. Jamaica nil, Panama nil. This match has its moments, but for the most part, there is Mills now for Panama. A speculative effort there. Yeah, of course, goalkeeper Schneider wouldn't have any problems with that one. But well, that's the first shot on target for the Panamanians. <laughs> if you want to call it a shot, but anyway, Jamaica trying to build something up now in their own half. Swaby. Back inside now. Picked up Plummer, the captain. Blackwood. Oh, she can't control it. Couldn't keep it in. Just a rear lapse of concentration there from Denisha Blackwood. Sees Panama win a very cheap throw in. Panama. In their own half. Pins up. The keeper Mills turned away there by Blackwood. And Shaw was fouled there. And it's very obvious, uh, Lance, that they're keeping a close eye on Bonnie Shaw as they realize that she's a danger lady here. Definitely, Ian, as they would have already known that Khadija Shaw was the overall leading goal scorer in uh, Women's World Cup qualifying. She finished the qualifying campaign with 19 goals, so she knows where the back of the net is. So we'll have to keep a close watch on her. Sweatman, is she going to float it in? Yes, she does. Up to the head, Shaw. Much too close to the goalkeeper. We really had to work over time to ensure that she maintained possession. But is it, is, is it going to be a case of something has to give based on the pressure that is being borne down on this Panamanian defense. Well, at this rate, I don't think that Panama can keep it up much longer. They'll have to try to assert themselves more on this game because right now the Jamaicans are having it all their own way. Sweatman again for Jamaica. Oh, ball given away. And let's see if Panama can let them pay for it. They're coming forward now. A good turn by Batista. Oh, that's a good play. He's getting away. Riley beats two. Riley with a shot. Good save by Shida. Good save. And that's the mark of a good keeper, Ian. Schneider hasn't had much to do all game. A spectator, really. And when she's called into action, she produces the goods. So game swing now from end to end. Khadija Shaw, she has two to take care of. She takes care of one. Sweatman. Well, in fact, that was Jackson for Jamaica. Now that's Sweatman. Sweatman playing at the heart of the midfield for the Jamaicans. She plays her club football in Hungary. Kenya Plummer, the captain for Jamaica. Jackson. Jamaica slowly inching forward through Alison Swaby. Ah, that's a good pass. Let's see. Gray still going. Oh, but the challenge was successfully won by Murillo. Danger not yet averted as Panama trying to organize themselves from the back. So back again come Jamaica as Panama now trying to transition from the midfield position to the attack. Playing a patient game here as they're trying to settle down. This is Quintero. Cox searching for Mills. Ill-directed. And the Jamaicans will say thank you very much. Picked up by goalkeeper Scheider. Panama enjoying their longest spell of possession just now. And we see them trying to put some passes together, but when they come forward, it breaks down. But they're on the right track. Overkick pass there. 
And uh, the Jamaicans will be a little bit disappointed that that one was not transformed into a goal uh, seeking effort. So a throw instead will be taken by the Panamanians. Clad in red. Sweatman now. Plummer, the captain. Jackson. Blackwood trying to keep it in. Plummer. Oh, she beats her. Nice stuff. That was a lovely touch from Kanye Plummer. Goalkeeper Bailey. About five minutes have elapsed and she hasn't touched it. So does it mean that the Panamanians are improving? I think we can say that, Ian, because we can see them starting to find their feet in this match, you know, enjoying longer spells of possession putting more passes together, inching further and further up the field. They've had their first shot on target, albeit a very easy one for goalkeeper Schneider to deal with, but Panama is starting to settle in this one. Certainly building with confidence as they're trying to come forward, but Jamaica now trying to take a stopping out of their attack. Shade. Ah, that's a good play. Let's see. Can she get it cross inside? She does show! Punched away and a rebound! Just screaming over the crossbar. A powerful effort there by Jamaica. But Lance, no Lo goal. No goal, but a lovely play from the Jamaicans, which all started from that wonderful diagonal pass from Adam Alekun and Bond Flasher getting Myra Gray in over on that far side before she whipped in across. And it was goalkeeper Yenith Bailey again coming up big to punch it out. And it, Gray coming again to lash on to the rebound, but just over the crossbar. Jamaicans coming very close on that occasion. And it does tell you that they're not afraid to take shots. They're not goal shy at all. Once they have the opportunity, they'll be kicking. <laughs> Blonde flash out. Not a bad effort there. What a goal it would have been had it latched into the back of the net. But uh, nice to see Shade Adam Aleikum. Getting into the act now. She's been pretty quiet so far in this match. Number 21. Yes, playing over on this left-hand side for the Jamaicans. Not seeing a lot of the ball. Trudy Carter started on the left wing. We see her going inside, tucking in behind Bonnie Shaw now. So, Jamaica might be motivated by that last effort. They're coming forward now. Sweatman, she's been controlling the middle. Looking for Adam Alekun. Not a berry. Ill-directed pass as it turned out, and Castillo plays it upfield now for Panama, but it's cut out and back again come Jamaica. This is Shaw now, trying to lay it off now. Not successful with average effort, but here's still Shaw going. Ron Fasser. Still Bon Flasher. She's hustled off the ball. Skin terror for Panama. Castillo. Spectators building into the National Stadium and filing in as the clock ticks away in the first half. Yes, Ian, not a bad turnout here. And it's worth noting that there are more than 800 female athletes here from 22 different schools. Um, these patrons are here courtesy of tickets provided to, provided to them by Reggae Girl sponsors with Cinco. Excellent move. Sponsors, Corporate Jamaica coming on board to support the reggae girls as they prepare for the big show in June. Here, here's come, here they come now. Shaw looking for room here. She's lining up for a shot. Goes for the near post. And it screams wide off the frame. It's a goal kick. They should have gone for the far post. Probably should have gone for the, the pass. She had the run of Blackwood to her right, but Shaw opted to go for glory on that occasion. Seems to have taken a touch, and it will be a corner to the Jamaicans. Another good chance for them, Ian. Yes, she got a deflection. Thought she would have just opened her body and just placed the ball to the far post. That would have been a better option, but this one is taken short. Sweatman chipping it in, and a possibility here for Jamaica as they get up. But nobody making contact, and Panama will be happy with that. 
The danger not yet averted. Adam Alekun for Jamaica. That's nice. And uh, Shaw trying to chip it through. A little gap there, but no way. The door slammed shut. The Jamaicans doing brilliantly to keep the pressure on following that corner, not allowing the Panamanians to play the ball out of defense easily. Keeping a very high line, as they have been from the very first whistle. Um, very high intense intensity game being employed by the Jamaicans, no doubt playing into the tactics of Coach Hugh Menzies. Telling you about the standard, the teams, some of the teams that have not qualified, that doesn't say that they're not competitive. And the Panamanians certainly gave Jamaica a good run for their money. And that wasn't the best of clearances and a deflective shot here. And the goalkeeper, oh, dangerous stuff here. And that would it certainly would have been a freak goal had that gone in because there was some deflection going on there, uh, Lance. Right, Ian. I mean, Shada has been very alert anytime she's called into. Well, here they come again, the Jamaicans, and that's a poor pass there. Should have done better with that one, Trudy Carter. But so easily, the situation could have changed if that pass had gone through. It's end to end stuff, Ian. I mean, back to that chance for Panama. Um, Sydney Shada had to be very alert to make that reaction save because it took a deflection, it was looping in over her head. So she had to backtrack and end up, ended up hitting into the post, but managed to keep it out. Yes, kept her wits about her and her composure. And that's what it's all about at this level. Still no goals yet. It's also worth noting that the Jamaican goalkeeper is very young as well. She's just 19 years old. True. So, and a child shall lead them. <laughs> One flasher. Bon Flasher, Jackson, trying to chip it over. A through pass there for Gray. Goalkeeper fumbles for once, and it goes behind for a corner. Very dangerous ball over the top there from Laura Jackson. She seems to have a very, very dangerous range of passing. She's just stringing them all over the pitch, Ian. And that time, almost picking out Myra Gray. But the ever-present Bailey is there to get a touch to play it behind for another corner kick to the Jamaicans. Let's see if they can capitalize on the latest one here. Sweatman as usual. Shouts of goal as Swaby's hanging in there. Up go the heads. Shaw! Blocked. Was there a hand in there, Ian? And again, it's blocked. Shouts of goal and trying to turn on the corner. Shaw puts it sweetly into the goal. Jamaica one, Panama nil. And, and you get the impression all along that it has been coming. It was coming, Ian. And it's that lady again, Khadija Bonishaw, who finds the back of the net for the Jamaicans. I mean, the Panamanians had several opportunities to clear on that occasion. Couldn't get it away. And it fell to the last person who they wanted to. And she made no mistake from about six yards out. Well, she really turned on a coin there. Just almost a 180, 360 degree turn. <laughs> And she swung a right boot into that shot. Goalkeeper, Yenith Bailey, who has been outstanding all along, was well beaten on that occasion. Jamaica won. Panama nil. Khadija, Bonnie Shaw. Let's see, what do the Panamanians have to offer? Well, nothing much. It's a crunching tackle by Plummer. Gets the ball away. The Jamaicans... Finally, making one of those corner kicks count. You had the feeling that if they were to score, it would be from a corner kick. I tell you. So, Jamaica now. On the defensive, as Mills trying to move through a cluster of players. Adam Alekun. Well, had a pocket pick there that time. It was Gray. 
Oh, Mills, she's onside. But not controlling on the first touch. Well, she did well there. That's a corner. Is it Panama's first corner? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Good work there from Natalia Mills, who kept her composure under great pressure to win Panama their first corner. Mills, you know, she was a scorer in that match when the Jamaicans last met. Taking a short. Mills, a little bit overweighted. So some attention now will be rendered to the Panamanian. It's been a pretty clean Carla game Riley. so far. Carla Riley, yes, it's been a pretty clean game so far. So the medical staff of either team have had very little to do so far. It's been a very clean grudge match so far. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So... So, Carla Riley will get some attention, medical attention, off the field. And if you listen to that, Ian, you hear cheers going up for Sidella Marley, who is here in attendance to cheer on the reggae girls. She's a very prominent figure for the reggae girls back in 2014, when the Jamaica women's national team was on the verge of being disbanded. She stepped in you know, and help to secure corporate sponsors for the team, as well as to inject her own money into the squad to help with coaching, nutrition, and everything. So her father, Bob Marley, would be proud. Anyway, it's the Panamanians. Now we have a free kick. Few Panamanian players, Mills. And it's curving inside. No impact there. Still coming forward is Panama, but good defensive work by Jamaica. Stop them in their tracks. Oh, not a bad effort. Another comfortable save for Sidney Schneider in goal. And the Jamaicans can look to build another attack from the back here with Alison Swaby coming forward. Swaby, who has been playing her club football in Italy for AS Roma, still in possession for the Jamaicans here. Indeed. So Toriana Patterson has come onto the field of play for Panama, number 19. It appears that she may have replaced... Erika Hernandez. Oh, that's good stuff by Bunny Shaw. Oh, what a nice move. That's lovely. The follow through. Gray. Oh, she's found a way in the box. Good defensive work. I was Some telling you that Toriana Patterson, but I'm talking about the number 19 for Panama. Erika Hernandez has possibly come onto the field of play for Carla Riley. Seem to possibly have gotten hurt there. But we'll see about we'll confirm that in just a while. But anyway, it's a corner kick to Jamaica. Which all resulted from some lovely football from the Jamaicans. Khadija Bonishaw piling the Panamanian there. <laughs> yes. That's the familiar term that we'd use in Jamaica. Beating the opponent in the air. Up go the heads, the goalkeeper punching only as far as Swaby, but if she couldn't follow through, 
But Jamaica still piling on the pressure. I think the Jamaicans have found the formula with these corners, Ian, becoming more and more dangerous from these set pieces. Another corner kick for Jamaica. Swerving again. Up go the heads. Shaw colliding with the goalkeeper, Bailey, who stays down. Seems like the young goalkeeper felt the full force of that impact and has come off worse from that collision. And so the Panamanians have been getting a battering on the field of play, both in terms of the opportunities, but it seems as if the physicality is also now coming into the fore. The Jamaica strong, quick bustling, confident bunch of ladies. The reggae girls leading by a goal, a goal to nil courtesy of that strike from Khadija Bonishaw who has you know, come out here and considered her a good goal scoring form. She scored in the regular girls last match on April 7 when they faced South Africa. In South Africa, she scored an exquisite goal running all the way from the half line, going past about four or five players, you know, almost Maradona S before slotting it past the goalkeeper. Why didn't you say Messi? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're very similar players, so I mean. <laughs> Messi esque. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so goalkeeper Bailey seems to be okay. Back again. So Hilary Hain. I think at this point, the Panamanians are just hoping to get to half time. They're coming under a lot of pressure, Ian. And the Jamaicans look like they smell blood and want a second before that half time whistle. Yes, the ball is in a dangerous position. But this time it's a goal kick. As uh, Trudy Carter appealing with the assistant referee that it did come off the boot of her opponent and not her. I must say that I've been very impressed with this young goalkeeper, Bailey. And she has a very interesting story as well. I was telling you earlier, just 18 months ago, she was a midfielder. And her coach, Victor Suarez, saw the potential in her to convert her into a shot stopper. And, uh, you know, fast forward now, and she is proving to be a very, very capable goalkeeper. Indeed, so certainly more than holding her own. And when asked about the transitions, he, she said that when you like the game, you'll do what you have to do to be on that field. But how do you judge how good a goalkeeper is, though? Is it because her defense is not doing well? I mean, <laughs> obviously, when, when the defense isn't really up to par, the goalkeeper will have more work to do. Ideally, yes. you don't want your goalkeeper being... This one is floating inside the area. Panama Mills. And she has no control over the situation, but still Panama come back again. Ball was given away that time, but once again given away by Jamaica. This is Mills now. Trying to get by. Oh, she does well. But trying to beat one too many. The horrid clearance still comes back to Panama. This is Hyene back in the fence for Panama, coming forward. Trying to play it straight through the channel there but solid defensive work by Jamaica averts the danger this will give the Jamaicans a chance to just push higher up the field now as the Panamanians were just having another spell of possession where they try to break down this Jamaican defense that's Hain long searching pass and picked out her teammate nicely Quintero Hustled off the ball that time.
Hernandez. Panama really trying to end this first half on a high note. You know, just stepping up the intensity of their play. I said they'd have to go in search of a goal. Yes, if they want to get something badly. out of this. Here they come again. Mills overlapping well on the right side here. Puts it across. Well, in fact, it was an effort at goal. I think she was really trying to cross it, but got caught in two minds. Miscued shot there, definitely, Ian. But um, goalkeeper Schneider had to be alert. That one could have snuck in at the near post. Just see the Jamaicans switching off a bit, giving up possession in a dangerous position on the field there. Probably a few minds already thinking about that halftime break, but they have to stay focused and not switch off. The players working in tandem, tandem there, but that's a terrible one. And again, goalkeeper Schneider had to be alert. So lapse in concentration there by the Jamaican defenders. Earlier in the match, we saw where the Jamaicans were putting on a lot of pressure on the Panamanian defense. Now it's the Panamanians who are returning the favor and making it you know, some nervy, no, some nervy moments for the Jamaicans. Blackwood almost giving up what would have been a costly pass there for the Panamanians to sneak in. But luckily for her, Schneider was alert as she has been throughout the game. So Jamaica won, Panama nil. As I guess both teams anticipating the halftime whistle. But Mills trying to squeeze her way through. This could be dangerous. Panama in with something here now. Looking for room to get a shot off. This could be dangerous again. But the goalkeeper, Schneider, equal to the task and averts the danger. Schneider really stepping up towards the end of this first half here. I mean, we've been talking about Yenith Bailey for pretty much all of this first half, but Schneider showing that she's a very talented young goalkeeper as well. Bailey gets rid of that one, puts it into touch for a throw. To Jamaica. Lead this match by one goal to nil. Reggae girls. Prepare themselves for an assignment in France next month. Shaw lurking menacingly in the box. It's hooked away nicely by the Panamanian defenders. Jackson wins that one. Looking for Shaw at the end of that one. What a diving header. Ooh. Flash pass the post. Lance. That one was inches wide. But what about that ball from Denisha Blackwood? It was a lovely ball. And very nice flick on from Khadija Shaw. Just inches wide of that far upright. But we see how the Jamaicans can hurt you in the blink of an eye. I mean, right, Coach Humans right. says that's a part of the yeah. game that he tries to really make an asset for his team, you know, transition, going from attack into defense and vice versa. And we saw it there just like that. They turned defense into attack. Well, two minutes to go for this half. Teams will just play the ball around, it would appear, and, and in anticipation for that final whistle for this half. Or will they try to squeeze one in, Panama? It's taking an awful long time to get the kick going. It's a big one inside the area. Turned away. Panama still hustling their way. This is Cox. Oh, she beats her well and cracks one. But it's way off target as it cuts into the night air. That was a speculative effort there. And probably just showing a bit of frustration. I mean, Panama have been growing into this game. So they need to stay patient. Still have a lot of football to be played. And they'll have their chances. They just need to stay composed and continue to do what they've been doing towards the end of this first half, which is try and string some passes together and break down this Jamaican defense. Jamaica. Carter. Across now, and she's picked out 
Swaby. Swaby searching for Gray. Gray gets the throw for Jamaica. And it's Dominic Bond Flash going across to take this throw in. Um, she plays her club football in Holland for PSV Eindhoven. So it's there are a lot of experienced players in this Jamaican team playing professionally all over the world. So a nice blend of youth and experience for humans is to call upon. Indeed. This should be about the last kick for this half. Referee Araya looking at a watch. quite. It's a free kick to Panama. Taking awfully quickly, Mills. Looking for room. Surrounded by yellow shirts, but she's still finding some room there. But possibly the overlapping Castillo could have been in an offside position anyway. But it's a goal kick. And no, it won't be a goal kick. She's seen enough. It's half time. 45 minutes of exciting football. Interesting football. And the regular girls, Jamaica, Lead by one goal to nil against Panama. Lance White, 45 minutes of action. Your thoughts? Ian, I mean, the Jamaicans came out like a house on fire in the fir from the first minute, and they've been putting Panama under pressure. And the pressure finally told, you know, from a corner kick. They had a lot of corner kicks in the first half, huh? and it's no surprise that the goal came from a corner kick. Khadija Bonishaw latching onto a loose ball in the box, huh? and... Uh, Panama paying for not organizing their defense. I mean, they have come back stronger in the towards the end of the first half, so that's an indication that this one might not be over just yet. Yes, an adroit looking Khadija Bunny Shaw really looking a cut above her opponents as she really spun on a coin there and a fierce shot. A low grounder into the back of the net and that's the score that separates the countries right now. Jamaica one, Panama nil. Second half action. We'll be back for all that action for you. Uh, you want to be brave and give us a prediction, Lance White? Ian, my prediction will be three nil for the Jamaicans. I, I agree with you, but I think Panama might get one. So let's say three one. Okay, so that's our prediction. Don't worry about us. We'll just see what's going on. <laughs> it's halftime now here at Kingston's National Stadium, but we'll be back with the start of the second half as soon as they're ready for it. Everybody say hallelujah. God is good. And all the time, chosen away to come bless the place. Quick out, ready, out, pass out quick now. Take it over what you feel. Your purpose can reveal. And the gods put it here. But we see the massive and the money got church to the moment so we have 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 we 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 what I'm doing, man? When your spirit speaks to me, with my whole heart I agree, and my answer will be yes, Lord, yeah. Whoa. I say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I say yes, Lord, yes, I will trust you. When your spirit speaks to me, with my whole heart I agree. I'm a new song. You think I don't? Watch up, watch up. I miss the send down the rain. I miss the send down the rain. I miss the send down the gas blue rain. I miss get it. Send down the rain. Send down the rain. I miss the send down the gas blue. Well, I'm not trying. Wall on the pull on the selector. But I just like how we're gone. God settings. Yes. I just like how we are called on the rain. Right about now, it's all about the females. All proud females make some noise right now, no? All strong black women make some noise, no? All of the good ones, they make some noise, no? And all of the men, they my love women, make some noise, no? Because I have a lioness on the rise inside the stadium. Make some noise for the queen, I freak her.
and them don't know where to go to. So I want to big up to Della Marley and all those who have been integral in ensuring that the reggae girls have got to this stage. And we want to give them all a round of applause. The Minister of Sports, we want to thank everyone, the JFF, the President, Mr. Ricketts, everyone who has been a part of it. But to Della, big up your nice, clean self, you understand? Good as in a real life. And me to tell you about it. And right about now, I'm going to call on a queen on the stage. Because we need more blessing. Cause who said two more goals for scoring now? Jamaica for score two more goals. The regular girl to score two more goals. Well, guess what? She is anointed by the Almighty. She is the queen of the gospel. And she's here to bless us with her mellifluous voice. Make some noise for Minister Marion Hall. And make thanks. And offer the cup unto them. He said each of you drink from this cup. Because it's my blood. And it's what the Lord Jesus Christ shed for our sin. I thank you for the blood, Jesus. I've been through many trials and tribulations. I've encountered many storms and many tests. I've been on the battlefield with that old serpent. But the blood of Jesus never failed me yet. If it wasn't for the blood, where would I be? My name was Lady Saw. If it wasn't for the blood on Calvary, the blood washed me. If it wasn't for the blood that Jesus shed for me, if it wasn't for the blood, where would I be? Listen to this. I've been criticized and demoralized. I've been judged so many times since I've been baptized. You think it easy? The devil tried to derail me, but God was on my side. If it wasn't for the blood, I could have testified. Give my prayers. If it wasn't for the blood of Jesus, where would I be? Tell me where would I be? If it wasn't for the blood on Calvary, thank you, Jesus. If it wasn't for the blood, that Jesus shed for me. If it wasn't for the blood, where would I be? Let me tell you something. There is healing in the blood. Deliverance is in the blood. Victory is in the blood. Breakthrough is in the blood. Listen, I've been washed by the blood. Sanctified by the blood. The blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. Give Jesus a way of offering. Give God a way of offering. We are come this morning. He made this possible. Before you go, reggae girls, I pray that God will continually bless you. I pray that you will run the race set before you. Kick all of the ball and know that Jesus is with you. I cover our island with the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious God, I thank you for the blood. Holy Spirit, bless this country. Bless our girls. Bless the Prime Minister. Bless the opposition leader. Bless everybody who's up in this place. We bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I give God thanks for washing me, for sanctifying my soul, and I show the blood of Jesus up in every seat from the ground stand to bleach us. Hallelujah! If it wasn't for the blood, where would I be? The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Peace be with you. I send the Lord Jesus Christ and give you all upon the plane, upon the bus, upon everything that you're traveling. And I'm not just blessing the girls. I'm blessing the whole island of Jamaica. God bless you. Make some noise for Minister Marion Earl. Bleach has an appeal it. Bleachers on the feel it. Bleachers if you don't bless, say yes. Grandstand if you don't bless, say yes. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Coca Cola, where you at? Because we have our young ladies to honor who have exhibited skill, training, discipline, dedication. And we want to say big up to the Wissingo group, William of Food, they're large every time. 
And to these 28 young ladies who have exhibited so much strength, vigor, vim, and vitality, we're giving them an award tonight, and we want to say thank you. We have the amputees over here. They're going to be juggling. They are, they are going to juggle to Woody. What's your name? My name is Anessa Garwood. All right, and what's your name, sir? Tyrone Miller. And you, sir? David Maria. And you, sir? Dave Jan All right, good job. Well, let's start the juggling right now. What are ready to our move? Reggae girl style, amputee style. Everybody in our Italy, let me tell you about it. I like it. Anybody want some digital credit right now? Anybody feel like you want some digital credit? No, if you don't want it, you're not for good need. But if you want it, let me know. You want some digital credit right now? Okay. They need to get some. We need more amputees for the World Cup coming up. They have an amputee World Cup, sir. So they have a fluffy World Cup. I don't like going or something. No, no, no. Look here now. They need to start a good body something. I need to go in or something. I need to be kicking up the, yeah, we can't get too bad. Team Shella, I'm going to challenge you with some music in the meantime, let me tell you something. Ready now, ready time, ready time. The amputees are kicking. Coca-Cola is here, getting the ladies. Team Shella, I see you. Big up to the fluffy divas, you know what I mean? Welcome back, everyone. It's international football here at Kingston's National Stadium. Jamaica versus Panama. Second half is about to start. Ian Andrews alongside Lance White, keeping your company here. And Lance, a few changes? Yes, I can see that Nicole McClure has come on for the Jamaicans in goal, replacing Sidney Schneider. McClure was the hero in that penalty shootout in Texas in that third place playoff match. And I tell you, she saved two penalties, you know. Um, at the end of the, at the, end of the um, penalty shootout, when Dominique Bonflasher scored the winning penalty, all, the te all her teammates were running towards Schneider, and it was Bonflasher who scored the winning penalty, just to give you an idea of how, you know, she really came up big in that penalty shootout. So let's see what she can bring to this match. Okay, and the Panamanians making a few changes as well. Let's see who they're bringing on and who they've brought off. Jamaica leading this contest by one goal to nil. Looks like Lynette Sidenio. Lynette Sidenio coming on, number 18. And also, Kenia Ranghel. Kenia Ranghel is also coming on, number 7. 
So those two players are coming in. So it's a change up top for the Panamanians eh? with uh, Cedino coming on. She was also a scorer in that last match that the Jamaicans played against Panama. So, you know, her coach obviously feeling that she can replicate that feat by drawing Panama level in this one. Let's see what Panama bring in this second half. She wears the number 18 jersey. And number seven, Kenia Ranghel. He immediately gets into the game and it's bundled over. So, let's see if the Jamaicans can pick up where they left off in terms of their dominance and to territorial advantage. A whistle on that play there, a rough tackle. And again, Ms. Carter having something to say about that. Here's Mills now trying to weave a way through the Jamaican defense. That is, the door has been slammed shut. But back again come the Panamanians. Oh, that's a good play. Some room here. Snapshot easily handled there. First sight of the ball for goalkeeper McClure, and she does well. Shot straight towards her, but she deals with it very nicely. And Panama showing some intent early in this second half. Huh? Indeed. Nicole McClure. Best time to get that equalizer is at this stage of the game. The other side will probably have some trouble settling down, but oh, a bit of pushing and tugging and holding there. Good stuff, Jamaica. A good goalkeeping again by Bailey. A follow through shot, a weak one. And again, Trudy Carter it was punching the, the air in disgust. Yes, Ian, and it was the pace of Myra Gray that created that opportunity for the Jamaicans, bursting away, leaving the Panamanian defense in her dust. And the follow up shot from Trudy Carter is a tamed one. And, uh, Goalkeeper Bailey dealt with it very easily. Of course, Chantel Swaby is also onto the field of play. Yes, Ian. She replaced Laura Jackson in the midfield for the Jamaicans, so she'll be pairing up with Marlo Sweatman. But so far, the second half has started out a little bit quiet. Certainly much quieter than it did the last time around when Jamaica was totally dominant. But a fair-sized crowd here at the National Stadium. There's more people in the, the, the stands than the bleachers. Yes, oh. yeah, not a bad turnout at all. Indeed. I, I must say it's a sizable crowd, much more than what we saw when they played Chile here in February. That's so true. But people like winners. As Sweatman comes forward, she's weaving her way straight through that channel. And that's a good pass. Adenokum inside the box. A shot! 2-0! Khadija Shaw makes goal scoring look easy. How about that? Khadija Bonnie Shaw does it again, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you, she's a, she's a real talent. I don't think people realize just how technically gifted she is. But that was one of her more simpler goals, you know, arriving at the back post after some good work down this right-hand side. And I mean, what do you say, Ian? 3-0? <laughs> well, certainly on course. And uh, I'm telling you, what a going away present that would be. Because there it is, the replay. And really an orthodox guy. Uh, what was it? Is it what, a karate kick there? Or whatever it took. The ball certainly beat the goalkeeper. And a lovely assist from Olufa Lashade, Adam Aleikun on that occasion. Adam Aleikun. Here is Panama now trying to work their way through. Sedenio. And she's hustled off the ball, but a brave effort by her. Oh. 
Oh, that's a good play. Adam Alukin gives chase. Trying Lovely ball there. from Trudy Carter. Yes, but Maria equal to the task, but Adam Alukin fights back. Lining up for a big kick is Gray. Jamaica now getting the passes to get inside the box at the near Ooh. post. Not good enough. That one almost sneaking at the near post there. Van Flasser was trying something. Goalkeeper Bailey had to be very alert on that occasion. Indeed. And she has had to be all match. All evening. Jamaica really riding the momentum now. And I think they sense they can get a third goal. There's a kick, a corner kick to be taken now. It's in the hanging in the air, an empty goal, but us off target. Goalkeeper beaten that time. Left in no man's land. Let's look at it again. Well, we're looking at the goal. And there's a really sliding, slicing challenge. Lovely the ball low and cross. Exquisite finish. Yes, and I like the pass from Adam Alekun. Lovely low drill the ball to the back post and Shaw arriving on time to just slot it home. Here's Adam Alekun again. Indeed. She's really making her presence felt in this game now. Adam Alekun. Swaby. Sweatman. Jamaica, oh, having her pocket picked there, but she fights back nicely, Plummer. That was a good recovery from Kanye Plummer on that occasion with a strike of bearing down on her, but she showed her strength and composure to get out of that one. Rangel for Panama, turned away by Plummer for Jamaica in the fence. It's a good play, Shaw. Picked out Gray. Gray for Shaw. She's on a hat trick. Let's see. The angle is acute. Inside, and it's skied into nothingness. Trudy Carter. Trudy Carter. Should have done much better with that one. That was a glorious opportunity. And it all came from some good work down the left hand side. And the link up play between Myra Gray and Khadija Bonnie Shaw, who put in the cross, put it on a platter for Trudy Carter, but she couldn't start her feet out and get the shot on target. Another great opportunity for the Jamaicans. Some attention now be, to be meted out to. Well, this should be not attention, but just concern. So the first goal possibly scored in the 30th minute of play for Khadija Bonishaw. And about 10 minutes into the second half, she got her second goal. Here's Mills now. She's trying her best for Panama. Cracks one. No problems there from McClure. Could have got a little bit more power to that one, I thought. Right, Ian. And I, I realize that Natalia Mills is really the talisman for this Panamanian team. She really drives the team forward. She doesn't look for a pass when she gets the ball. She tries to make something happen. And on that occasion, she almost uh, got one back for Panama. But Nicole McClure, you know, showing why she's the hero. When we have women, do we say talisman or talisman? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a it's a throw to Jamaica. Going from left to right in yellow and black. Green numbers. It's inside now. Changing the play nicely. Swaby. In the middle now. To Carter. Sweatman. 22. Gray. Chipping it in. And a possibility here for Shaw again. But goalkeeper Bailey will have none of it. 
That was a lovely cross from Gray, but an even better catch from Bailey. Bailey just calming down the tempo. She realizes that her team needs a breather. The Jamaicans are coming at them in waves. Don Flasser, or Flasher. Swaby, back to her goalkeeper. Ooh. Khadija Shaw again. She has pins on to contend with. A snapshot. Bounces kindly. And uh, Chantal Swaby. Looked a little bit bemused at that time around. And she just lost her bearings. Jamaica still leading by one goal to nil, uh, by two goals to nil, courtesy of a double strike from Khadija Bonishaw. And that one will be too much for Trudy Carter to control. And she's looking a little bit frustrated at the moment, um, Lance. She's not having the kind of impact that she possibly would have wanted. I mean, no doubt she would have been waiting for this match for a long time, you know, making her much wait our much anticipated comeback from injury after four months on the sideline. I can understand she will be eager to have a real impact on this game to, you know, show that, well, she's back. She'd want to score a goal, but she can't be too hard on herself. She's having a good game so far. She doesn't look off the pace as players often do when coming back from lengthy injuries. So she needs to just stay focused and, you know, try to nick a goal. Let's see, Sweatman now. It was a bit more quiet at this part of the game. Well, that's a nice play. Blonde flash out. Adam Aleikun trying to go a bit too fancy. Adam Aleikun, and then she lost possession. Chantel Swaby just shielding her off and allowing the ball to go out for a throwing for Jamaica just now. Chantel Swaby, actually the younger sister of Alison Swaby. So, you know. Lots of Swabies around. Hmm. Chantel Swaby again on the ball. Oh, sure. She lots of space. Can she beat this one? Yes, she does. Can she get the shot off now? Good tackle. In defense there. But here's Shaw again. She has room. She cracks one. Bailey, equal to the task yet again. What a great match she's having for Panama. I mean... This one really was a hidden gem. To think that she was a midfielder not too long ago and now not, not just playing as a goalkeeper but doing so quite outstandingly is amazing. I mean, a lot of credit to the coach as well for spotting the talent and you know, guiding her in that direction to make the transition between the sticks. Jamaica. Here we see that shot from Shaw again, who strikes the ball with such power. Yes. Okay, coming forward again, but again, a little bit too casual is Adam Aleikun. Referee says she got too much of the player on that occasion. Yes. Trying to make up for that error in which she gave away the ball. Was just a bit too eager. Ended up giving up a free kick. Adam Alekun again. Not having things her own way at that side of the field. Let's see if she can make good of this one. Has some room. Again, it's ill-directed. Mills now for Panama. Trying to prize away through. Get some help there. Pintero. Yes, 
117, Alison Swaby. Yeah, and I think now we see Jamaica just taking a breather. They've been playing a very high tempo game from the first minute, pressing, hounding the Panamanian team, you know, just taking a bit of resting time in position now, just moving the ball around the back line. And so Trudy Carter comes off. And Torian Patterson, we had called her on earlier on, but for another team, here she is now. <laughs> and I think she'll just go in and slot into that midfield role, and Chantel Swaby will just move a bit more into an advanced position. Or maybe it will be Marlo Sweatman who takes up a more attacking position. Yes, well, she has been playing a little bit uh, reserved in the second half. One asset of this Jamaican team is that the players are very versatile. A lot of them can play in a number of positions. For example, um, Denisha Blackwood playing at left back now. Um, in the qualifying campaign, we saw her play predominantly as a left winger. You know, very attacking player, but she's doing very well at left back as well. Yes, quite right. The tempo of the game has certainly slowed considerably. As the Panamanians look a little bit uh, referee didn't penalize anyone, but he gave the decision it's in favor of Panama. Or she gave the decision in favor of Panama. Some of the Jamaican players looking a bit bemused at that decision from the referee, as Chantel Swaby, they call her Baby Swaby, <laughs> <laughs> thought she won that one fairly, but the referee. Yes said otherwise. So pins on. Emira pins on now to take the kick. And she floats it inside. Mills gets up, but so too does the Jamaican captain, Plummer. Blackwood. Searching for Shaw. The boot in the way that time. Shaw gets a return. Blackwood was looking for something. Well, in fact, it was uh, Gray who was looking for a through pass, but defenders defend stubbornly. McClure off a line, and what a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. Perfect anticipation as Mills was clean through. And goalkeeper McClure really showing her class there. It's end to end stuff, Ian. Just moments before we saw a vital interception from a Panamanian player as uh, Khadija Bonishaw was about to play through Myra Gray and seconds later at the other end Nicole McClure charging out of her goal to make another vital interception as Panama looks certain to go through on goal. I think this is the reason why Coach Humans is wanted to play Panama. They're not going to lie down and just accept a defeat here. They're going to fight till the end. Okay, so Hilary Hain coming off. And she's now being replaced by Rebecca, number 13, Espinosa. Also, Mar Mariori Perez also onto the field of play as well. And So, Panama. Panama with a chance. Scores. And the hard-working Mills. Natalia Mills gets her place in the bright lights here at the National Stadium. It's Panama 1, Jamaica 2. She's done it again. She's managed to score against Jamaica. And I... I, I said earlier, she looks like the danger woman for Panama, and if they were to get a goal, she would have been involved, and here she is, drawing them within a goal of becoming level with the Jamaicans. Um, the Jamaicans just switching off on that occasion, a ball over the top, and she was left unmarked, unmarked at the far post, eh? and capitalizing on an empty goal after Nicole McClure rushed out. Here we see the replay. It was a great first touch from her to get by Bond Flasher, and a uh, Bit of a mix up between Bond Flash and McClure, McClure, allowing her to slot it into an empty net. And a good evening for the number 11s. 
because uh, the other goals were scored by Khadija Shaw. She wears the number 11. In the meantime, here is Gray. Oh, she beats her, but couldn't keep it in. Goal kick. Number 13, Espinosa. I think Gray is another player having a good game for the Jamaicans tonight. She's been very dangerous down that left-hand side for the Jamaicans. Every time she gets the ball, she looks to run at her defender. Not getting by them successfully on that occasion, but no doubt that won't be the last time we see her making a run. Now, here is Panama. Obviously, they would be inspired by that goal. Let's see what they have to offer. Adam Alekin's first touch is not good. Comes back to Panama. This is Riley. Crowd gets quiet here at the National Stadium. You can feel the tension, Ian. How badly they would love to see a convincing victory. A world of good to lift their confidence. Here's Swetman now. He's looking for options. Took a little too long and the ball was taken away from her. But Jamaica comes back again. Blonde Flasher couldn't keep it in. It's a throw to Panama. Jamaica 2-1. Leading this match. Broken up by Swaby. The game swinging from end to end now. Let's see how much Jamaica. Are they going to be holding on or going for more goals? Let's see. Panama will be trying to capitalize on this period now. The momentum is with them after halving the deficit. The Jamaicans not making it, making it easy for them to settle in possession though. The Jamaicans always pressing, always hounding, but just like that, they need to watch the lines because Panama are finding those little pockets of space and breaking the lines. Well, close call at time around two as well. Lynette Sedeno was sneaking through. The pass was by Mills, a little bit overcooked. But Adam Alekun needs to be a little bit more decisive with those plays on the right. She can get them across. Like she did for Shaw's second goal. Indeed. So here's Shaw now. She's changed her role. But she didn't get the cross in. No defection either. It's a goal kick. So the goal certainly knocked the stuffing out of the Jamaican attack, it would appear. As Panama made a couple of changes which certainly injected some pace into their forays into the Jamaican final third. Adam Alekun again. Bon Flasser looking for Swetman. It's too far forward. Safety first from the defender on that occasion. And why not? But it's a throw to Jamaica. Sure, the ladies would have loved to hear the cheering now for the Jamaicans. But, it, but that's not forthcoming as a change is about to be made again. Let's see what they're taking out. Well, Adam Alekun is coming off. And they're going to bring on uh, number 10, Shakira Duncan. Yes, the player they call Shaki. I remember watching an interview with Shakira Duncan recently. It was one that was done some time ago when she was younger. She said, when she gets older, she's going to play for the reggae boys. <laughs> At that time, she didn't know that women played football as well. So she said, well, I'm going to play football and I'm going to play for the reggae boys. Well, she got <laughs> half of it right, reggae. <laughs> so she's certainly reggaeing now with the girls. Of course close skills, I guess that's what she's going to bring into the game now. Shaw, trying to flick that one behind. Not making any contact. 
And that one was a like-for-like -like substitution from Coach Menzies. A straight swap with Shaki coming on to replace Adam Alekun on this right wing. So, seems as if Coach Menzies is going for this one. So, a free kick now to be taken. Tempo of the game slowing down considerably. Sweatman looks to be the one, and assigned as usual. As Yenith Bailey screaming instructions at her uh, two lady wall. The tempo of the game has dropped off since that Panamanian goal, but let's see what they can do from this set piece. Side there, and that's Swaby. Ill directed and goes behind for a goal kick. Bit of an anti climax there, Ian. Indeed. Player has gone down in the meantime in the penalty area. So the fair-sized crowd watching the proceedings. Do you recognize anyone in the stands, uh, Lance? Not anyone in particular, but I'm sure, I'm sure they're all regular patrons. I'm sure they are. <laughs> I think I spotted Beanie Man down in the grandstand earlier. Okay. Even Beanie Man needs to enjoy a football match or so. Beanie Man, of course, a popular entertainer in Jamaica. Right, and a very big fan of the reggae girls. Indeed. And Jamaican football in general, you know, so out here showing his support. Big goal kick. Shaw playing on the wing now, on the flank. Taking on three players, and she's found her way through, but the fourth one was like a stone wall. Always giving a rough time there. You always Pins get the on. sense. Yes. You always get the sense that something is about to happen in time the ball is at her feet. Three players crowding around her just now and she almost bamboozled all of all three of them. Yes. Well she did actually, but she went for the fourth one. But Pinzon was always appear, appeared to be her nemesis so far in this match. It's a corner kick to be taken again. Oh, this one is floating, and it's comfortably held by goalkeeper Bailey. Another very good catch from the goalkeeper. Here's a goal score for Panama. Mills, but this is good stuff now by Blackwood. Trying to squeeze it through to Duncan, but no room in the inn, so to speak. Blackwood. So, Blackwood just showing some of her attacking prowess just then. Blackwood also a recent university graduate, graduating with a major in sports management. Challenge there on Riley, Carla Riley. And as you can see, she's not seriously hurt, but she was really making a meal of the challenge as if her neck was broken. A little bit of uh, showmanship or showwomanship. <laughs> Let's be specific now. Another change. So number eight, Laria Batista is off. And on comes Maria Guevara. Number 17 goes in, Angela Evans. 
Angela Evans, number 17. And Carla Riley, the, the actress, she's off. <laughs> and she's not off by a stretcher based on her acting, her histrionics there. So she's off. So Panama making sweeping changes, so to speak, in the second half. Almost seeing a new Panamanian team on the field, a different one. Right. I think Coach Suarez is just trying to give as many opportunities to his players as possible. You know, they haven't played in a very long time. This is actually their first game of the year, so a lot Good of players... Good stuff by Swebe, but Duncan is offside. Goal kick. Well, not free kick. That goes into touch for a throw. Taking quickly. Searching pass from Mills, but it's turned away by Jamaica. Swaby, boot too high, and she concedes a foul. The Jamaican players really going into these tackles with everything. The intensity that they started the match with, it has dropped off maybe just a little bit, but they're still battling, going into every challenge 100%. They might have started with 120%, just falling off a little bit. Indeed. Maria Gray. Swaby. Alison Swaby. Oh, so Panama looking a lot more organized now. Mills getting lots of support inside. Oh, that's a cheeky play inside the area. No room to take the shot, though. There's a door slam shut. But here come Panama again. Duncan now for Jamaica now. Looking for Shaw, finds her. Shaw beats her as if she was standing still. She has one left to go. She's still on a hat trick. She gets it inside to her teammate. A chance to Jamaica. 3 1. Shakira Duncan. Off the bench and into the hearts of the Jamaican crowd. That was a lovely transition play from the Jamaicans, Ian. One minute they're down, pinned in their half by the Panamanians, looking as if the Panamanians <laughs> were going to get the equalizing goal. And a breakaway led by uh, none other than Khadija Bonishaw. A brilliant pass across the face of the goal. And the Jamaicans were queuing up, and it was Shakira Duncan who got the final touch. The Jamaicans now lead 3 1. Ian, seems as if your prediction is coming through. Well, I don't want you to want to rub things in, you know, but we're getting there. <laughs> Still have a few minutes left, so we could see some more goals. But I did predict 3-1, so we'll see. Now then. And again, this would... Uh, we'll now have to wait and see what this does to Panama, because they were really coming forward, and I think they got caught in the counter that time around. So here's Panama now, trying to cut the deficit even further. But again, Lance, Jamaica turning up the volume just a little bit more. And a little bit forced on the back foot of having conceded that goal. Uh, relaxing a little bit too much and they just turned up the volume a little bit more. Oh, but again, defenders, and the free kick has been given. Wow, the crowd doesn't like it, but... Hmm. The captain, Connie Plummer, just caught in position there, dwelling a bit, and position was nicked away from her, and she was 
grabbing at anything that he could. Ended up holding on to the player and giving away a free kick just at the edge of the box there. Um, lucky it wasn't a few yards more inside it or that would have been a penalty. Yes, held on to just a trifle too long. And a free kick at a pretty dangerous position. As Nicola McClure it has to be quite alert. Mm -hmm. Let's see if the Panamanians can respond again. Indeed. Three players in the wall. Floating it in. Punched away. Well, nodded away. Goalkeeper had nothing to do. And you can hear the horns and Vuvuzelas going up in relief. Here again, we see that goal from Shakira Duncan. Good first touch. Good first touch. So easy. And slots it past a hopeless Yenith Bailey in goal, who has, to her credit, been having a wonderful game so far. The Jamaican defenders have to continue to concentrate. As they restored their two goal cushion, the ball given away. Looking for Mills again, but defenders. Ball given away by Toriana Patterson on that occasion. Yes. Usually plays at central defense, playing at the, cen at the center of the Jamaican midfield on this occasion. Three ladies surrounding Bonnie Shaw again. Shakira Duncan controls, but lost sight of where she played the ball and the. Panamanians come and just take it away, but they put it behind for a corner kick. Bailey just rushing across towards the corner flag just now, trying to prevent that corner kick, but couldn't get there in time. So it's another corner kick for the Jamaicans. Of course, you heard that. They leave tomorrow and go to Florida and stay for a week. Well, they play Florida up before they play Scotland in a friendly. Right, Ian. That will be their next warm-up match as they build up to France. Indeed. Here's the corner kick taken short. Oh, Swetman did well. Good option for her, but her teammates just didn't read the play. And they were missing in action. So here comes Panama now. Lots of pace on this one. Uh, Sidenu charges forward, but... That's about as far as she will go. Oh, that was a bad one. She's lucky. She won it back. Blanfasla. That looked like a tired first touch from Bon Flasher, but luckily she managed to recover. A very decisive pass that was certainly heading for Khadija Shaw. A quick thinking from the Panamanian defender. Pins on. But Jamaica spreading the ball nicely now. This is Gray. Trying her dribbling skills, but not to good effect at this point. Pins on. It was a tough. It's been a tough strength in defense for Panama. And look at Gray tracking back. So energetic. Confident stuff by Jamaica. Really looking good. Um, Ill-directed pass, though. The Jamaicans are really starting to play with a swagger about them now. Not only trying to win, but trying to put on a show for the home fans who have really come out in their numbers today. Panama. Jamaica in possession. Alison Swaby looking for Duncan. A double substitution. Is about to be made. Ashley Shim, number eight, waiting. And Chantel Chanel, Hudson Marks, waiting on the sideline. See who they're going to take out. 
They're taking out number 22, Gray. A reasonable game, you'd say? A very good game, I'd say, Ian. She caused the Panamanians a lot of trouble over on that flank, you know. Was never shy of running at a defender. Anytime she got the ball, I thought, I think the right back over there was thinking not again. Every time she got the ball, she was running at them. At one point, I had a defender calling for help. Channel Hudson Marks replaces Blonde Flasher. So, Guevara, broken up by Jamaica, and surely Patterson could have done better with that one. Hmm. And here we see Chanel Hudson Marks, the recent introduction, another recent university graduate, graduating from the University of Memphis with a bachelor's degree in marketing management. So here they come now. It's a strong tackle on Ashley Shim that results in a corner kick for the Jamaicans. It'd be interesting to see what the corner count is for this game. Indeed. Jamaicans have had a number of corners in this game, scoring their first goal as a result of a corner kick. So a player down, it looks to be number four, Castillo, is it? So she's getting some attention. So the, the physical game, it seems to be taking its toll on the Panamanians. Definitely, and as I've said time and time again, it's been played at a very high intensity and uh, that will no doubt take a toll on the legs towards the final five minutes in this match. So you can expect to see the players starting to go down a little more frequently. So 3-1 the scoreline as a corner kick. About to be taken. So again it's curling and punched away by the goalkeeper for another corner. She's been amazing in this game. What would the scoreline be without her? <laughs> I don't think Panama would like to find out. <laughs> A few spectators filing out of the bleachers area. And they have obviously seen enough. I think they're settled on your scoreline of 3-1 with the corner <laughs> coming in here. Turned away. See newcomer trying to get her. Make her presence felt here, but the cross intended for Shaw was not forthcoming. And the attack is broken. Yes, that was, pieces. that was actually Shim trying to get the cross in. Mills, Natalia Mills. She's has she has pace. Those eyes being kept on her. The Jamaican defenders. Perez now. Pins on. Ooh, not a bad effort there. Useful. Certainly one of the better Pan Panamanians. She's had a good game so far in defense. McClure had to watch that one all the way. Indeed. <laughs> mm. 
humans is still yet to settle on his final 23 players for his World Cup squad. Still taking a look at a few players. So you'd notice that there are a few absentees that are usually in the squad for this match, such as Jody Brown. Good cross by Shaw, and Shim just couldn't get to it. That was a really good cross, but Shim... Shim just needed to grow a few more inches on that occasion. Wow. Okay, so three minutes to go. And that's added time for the few stoppages that we've had. Here is the playmaker, Khadija Shaw. And she got Duncan going. Duncan, it's one against one. Duncan, Pinta, oh, beats her like. Embarrassingly so, but she just couldn't finish that shot because that was of all persons. Pins on has been a tall strength to defense, and she re really made her look second rate there. A lovely bit of skill there from Shakira Duncan. Ooh. Got past the defender so easily, it was almost like she wasn't there. Yes, pins on. And like I said, pins on has been having a good game in defense for Panama. But she may well want to forget that one. Mm. Yet again, Yenith Bailey coming to the rescue for Panama. And as I was saying earlier, Ian, a few absentees from this side, such as Jody Brown and Chinielu Asher, who are usually here in the squad. And Giselle Washington is missing, but she's actually... Yes, Giselle Washington. I forgot about her. Yeah, she's actually out of contention for the World Cup. Coach Menz is saying that she tore her ACL. You know, very, very sad for her. She was a very prominent figure during the qualifying campaign, so she must be gutted. And to say the least. Uh, well, that's a game, you know. And these things do happen sometimes, but I'm sure she must be saying, why her? But not to worry, she may have another opportunity if she can get that going. Yeah, she's one of the younger players, yes. I think about 18 years old. So, right. you know, she has some time. She'll definitely have more World Cups. <laughs> so, that's about two minutes to go or thereabouts. The Panamanians have no answer at the moment. And as the game winds down, we again want to thank all the sponsors who have helped put this one together. So, Panama I have no answer at the moment. So, Ian, the match winding down to an end now. Who would you say is your player of the match? Well, you know, it's, it's an unf uh, I think it would really be a travesty if I did not name. Khadija Shaw as my outstanding player, getting a double, a brace here. She could have gotten three more, but that's the end of the game. And Lance, I think it's a befitting farewell result, farewell match and performance by the reggae girls. It's off to France and they're going in style. They are going in style, Ian. They promised a show and they didn't fail to deliver. Really coming out here, you know, going at the Panamanians very hard from the first minute right to the last, you know, getting a 3-1 scoreline. Khadija Shaw showing why she's one of the most exciting young players in the game at the moment. And Panama, they showed why they were even in that third place playoff in the first place. You know, they had a lot to offer to this game, especially a young goalkeeper, Yenith Bailey. I think the scoreline would have been a lot more comfortable for the Jamaicans if it wasn't for her. But in the end, couldn't repel the strike force of the Jamaicans. So. It's a fitting farewell, as you said, for the Jamaicans going off to France. And Lance, did you tell the patrons how much you're going to pay me for the prediction? <laughs> you should have bet. You should have bet, Ian. <laughs> I'm sure you're glad we didn't. <laughs> All right, so that's it. A fitting way to say bon voyage. Awidasun. Sayonara. Au revoir.
Lickamore, as we'd say in Jamaica. <laughs> we'll see you in France. Congratulations to the reggae girls. Congratulations to the coaching staff. And congratulations to the sponsors as well. And of course, the patrons and you, the viewers, who were tuned in to watch this broadcast here this evening. The final score, Jamaica 3, Panama 1. They're off to France. Off to France in June and off in style. On behalf of the hardworking technical crew, I'm Ian Andrews saying goodbye and see you later. But you decide to invest in some young woman to make them dreams come true and for them to pave the path for other young ladies to know that it can be done. And so we thank you for actualizing the dream when others didn't even see the dream. You believed in the dream, you invested in the dream, and now the entire nation is benefiting from the dream. So I want to say big up to the queen of the dream. When I say queen, you say dream. Queen, queen. When I say Sidella, you say Mali. Sidella, Sidella. Sidella, you want to talk? You don't want to talk. No, me talk for you. Come here. No, them pay me for talk. Come. So we just want to give Sidella a wonderful round of applause, everybody. For all that she's done. I would have Sidella, France to think there, you know. France to think there. And I just want to say again, congratulations to you and all the hard work that you've put in. And you must feel elated to see how the girls have grown from strength to strength. And we're going to France to dominate and germinate and do what we do best, movement of the people. Uh, reggae girls, it's been a long journey and you've gotten here, hard work and determination. When they said they couldn't, we said, tell us how. When they said we wouldn't, we said, show us where.
the Jamaica Football Federation. Mr. Ricketts, how are you doing? Ah, ah, hello! Minister, you're looking so hot. I'm seeing also the Honorable Minister of National Security. Dr. Chan, how are you? You're good, very well. Nice to see you. Dr. Chan, how you feel? Talk the truth, God love. How you feel? Pretty good. I look with butter, but in good spirits. Well, I'm happy that you're safe. And of course, who oh God bless no man curse. And we're happy that you're in good spirit. We're happy that you're in good health. And you can come and be with us tonight and celebrate in this very memorable and momentous occasion. So big up yourself, sir. Mad. Mr. Ricketts, I see that you're smiling from ear to ear. How are you feeling tonight, sir? Absolutely elated. We're just delighted. This certainly must be the largest crowd ever watch a female football game in Jamaica. We are just delighted. I would just hope the support will continue. And of course, sir, your word to the girls. I mean, these lovely ladies, they have done astoundingly well. And of course, brand ambassadors for Jamaica, they're going to France, they're gonna be going to Miami, and then they're off to France. What is your word of encouragement to them? Jamaica is a brand, and we want to protect that. And they've been absolutely wonderful ambassadors. We just want them to continue doing so. Amazing, sir, and to you and your team, thank you so much uh, for the support. The original Olivia Babsy Grange, the Honorable Minister, here tonight, one of the stalwart women who have been supporting this dream. And I see the tears, Minister, tears of joy. How are you feeling this evening? I'm feeling great, I'm overwhelmed. I just want to thank Jamaicans for giving the reggae girls the support. And I want more Jamaicans, more public sector, private sector, to come on board and give them support. Those girls are fantastic. They're dedicated, they're patriotic, they're just awesome. They're courageous. They show the strength of the Jamaican woman. And I'm, I'm so overwhelmed. My, my heart won't bust. I'm <laughs> glad. My heart full. Mill Minister, as I asked Mr. Ricketts, the president, uh, they're going off to France. In terms of support, in terms of buttressing all that they've done, uh, of course, building on what Sidella Marley and her team has done, what is the Jamaican uh, government commitment to the reggae girls going forward, and of course, to continue the dream moving on? We've all been, always been committed to women's football in Jamaica, and we were there for the reggae girls, and we'll continue to be there. We have committed funds through the Sports Development Foundation, and I've gone out there and I've said to private sector, come on board, join with us, be partners with us. I mean, we don't mind if you come on the bandwagon right now. Because, <laughs> because trust me, we're in it. To win it. Win it, okay? So, Minister, you know everywhere we go as Jamaicans, we jam in it and we leave our indelible mark. Oh, we're going to deal with France. Because but wow, when we leave France... The Eiffel Tower for light up black, green, and gold. How are we going to celebrate in and, of course, establish our presence in Paris? Well, Minister Bartlett, the Minister of Tourism, and the Jamaica Tourist Board, they're on board, and we're planning big things in France. We'll tell you more about it at another time. But I will be there. Minister Bartlett will be there. The Prime Minister has been invited to France by the Prime Minister of France, and so the President of France. And so, right, and so we're all going to be there to cheer the reggae girls. And of course, you know. Great, well, guess what? Anybody who won Ticket for Go France, uh, just book them from now, because we want the Jamaican contingent to be strong, and we want the support to be there. Not like when you hear two pod cover, a lick together, and of course the screams, the familiar language, and that's the camaraderie, and to see the colors. And so we're going to be celebrating and supporting the girls in whatever ways that we can. It's just fantastic. And I'm happy that my colleague, Minister, is here with me, Minister of National Security. He's right there, you know, and he has all, he predicted the results. I need to give him a digital credit then. So, you know, it's just a great feeling. And I just want the girls to know they have a whole country behind them and we surround them with love. Amazing, one love. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, uh, Minister Dr. Chang. Thank you, President uh, Ricketts. And of course, to all the other officials uh, who came. I saw the Honorable Mrs. Holness earlier on as well. And we want to send our respect out to her and all the other persons who have made this possible. Again, congratulations to the Reggae Girls! Oh my God! 
all the security guards, to all the police officers, ambulance service, we want to say thank you. To all the coaches, to all the doctors, assistant coaches, all the persons who have played a very pivotal and integral role in the success of the reggae girls. We want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. God, just so it go. The party not done yet, you know, Team Shella, we have over this song. Team Shella, I can just touch down at the airport. Jack suit and the Air Force. And that you say? All of the girl them love with. All they wanna say we're ugly. She say fly by pull up in a designer. She want game she them. Want game them. Why? Everything I from London, Bond Street, not Don't never come, come from China. China. A big pop off him tag them. The new Benz it a mad them. My friends squeak him a swag them. Congratulations to the reggae girls. All the people make some noise. Me not too swim when I like beach. I'm me too black when I like beach. And if you believe to the reggae girls, I go jump in here front. Make some noise to them now. That's how they shell at them feet. So do it. Hey, yeah. Just touched down and not a G5. You know I'm buzzing like a beehive. We still bump into that C5. Congratulations, then everybody. Thanks to the Panama team. Their coaches, their members of staff as well. Thank you for a game well played. Thank you so very much. And of course, to all the supporters. We're not going to sell for a round of applause, you know. Everybody who left out of them us today, Sunday. And come in and see them come support. Give yourselves a round of applause, please. I'm going to tell the family, them, tell everybody. Lenford, call your cousin, them, your third cousin, everybody. And let them know that they need to support the reggae girls. A support for support. And I saw it go, right? Across the length and breadth of Jamaica, the reggae girls need our support, and we will give it to them. Jamaica land we love. Big up on ourselves, Team Shella, your time.
They are going to need a friendship before you do that dance, yeah. You are going to need a panel of 500 before you do that dance, yeah. Check your shoulder. Hey. Out of the water, girl.